can give to your backyard chickens. If you didn't know, chickens absolutely love to have treats and there are many different things that you can give them. I've categorized them into three easy to remember groups, which I'm gonna be covering in this video. If you're a new homesteader, you're new to backyard farming, and you want to learn more on how to grow your own food, how to raise chickens, make sure you click on the subscribe button below. The first category of treats that you can give to your chickens are meats. If you didn't know, chickens are omnivores, which means they eat meat as well as plant food. They will also love you a lot more if you do provide any additional sources of protein to them. They don't need it in large amounts. You can give it to them in very small amounts and it doesn't have to be on a daily basis. It could be once in a while, maybe a few times a week at most. Some things that are okay to give your chickens are cooked meats as well as cooked fish. If you are going to provide these things for them, make sure that you chop them up into very tiny or small pieces for them so that it's easy for them to eat and digest. Other things that you can pick up right from your supermarket, usually they are very inexpensive, are cans of fish. Things like canned sardines, canned tuna, canned salmon, all of these things chickens absolutely love and they usually devour within a few minutes. If you are going to provide cans of fish to your chickens, Make sure you're getting the ones that are low in sodium or no sodium. You don't want to give them too much sodium in their diet. Make sure you're also getting the ones that are in water, not in oil. And lastly, the ones that don't have any additional spices added to it because naturally you don't need to give your chickens any spices in their diet. Other things that you can give them that you may already have at home and you may have not thought of before are cans of cat food and dog food. And sometimes that's a bit surprising to people, but you can actually give chickens cans of cat food and dog food, chunks of meat. And of course you want to give them the ones that have no preservatives, no additional additives, find something that is organic to give them. For us, we have a cat at home and sometimes once in a while, if we run out of the canned fish for our chickens, we'll give them one or two cans of cat food because they absolutely love it. And again, you wanna give them these things in small amounts. In the winter time though, if you live in an area where you have very cold fall or winter, you can give them more meat throughout the week because they need that additional source of protein. Chickens, throughout the day, they forage. They dig, they scratch, they look for worms and bugs in the grass. And naturally in the winter time, they're going to have a harder time finding those bugs to eat. So if you can provide them an additional source of protein through the winter, you'll have a lot healthier, happy chickens. You'll also have chickens that will lay more eggs throughout the winter because you're providing that additional source of protein for them. The second category of treats that you can give to your chickens are dried treats specific for chickens. And these are things that you can pick up right from your local farm supply store or order online. And there are several different treats that you can give them once in a while, sometimes on a daily basis, but in small amounts. So you can give them mealworms, dried out fish, dried out crickets. We've given our chickens all three of these and we see that they usually devour them pretty quickly. You can also pick up bags of different grains with dried out veggies and dried out herbs and different seeds. Things like Harvest Delight and Garden Delight. And lastly, you could pick up something that is called Chicken Scratch or Scratch Grain, which is considered to be chicken candy. This should be less than 10% of their daily diet. It's a mix of several different grains, as well as sunflower seeds and cracked corn. With all of these different dried treats that I mentioned, you can sprinkle them on the ground, around their coop, inside their chicken run, or in the area that they forage in. You could also hand feed them, which we recommend. For us, we personally love to hand feed our chickens whenever we're giving them treats. It really secures that bond between you and your chickens because they're not only chickens, they become like pets when you do get them. If you don't have chickens yet, you'll understand what I mean when you do have them. And if you have children, it's a really fun activity to allow your children to hand feed your chickens too. They will really enjoy it as well. The third category of treats that you can give to your chickens are fruits and vegetables. There is a huge list of fruits and vegetables which are perfectly fine to give to your chickens throughout the year and almost on a daily basis. If you do give your chickens these things, it does help you in cutting back 
on your budget for their regular feed. Certain vegetables though, you want to give them in very small amounts once in a while because these vegetables do change the flavor of their eggs. So things to give them in very small amounts are garlic, onions, and chives. We've given our chickens all three of these things and they usually love them. But again, give it to them in very tiny amounts and we'll usually chop them up very finely so it's easy for them to eat it. Other things that you can give, especially at certain times of the year, like when it's hot, if you have very hot summer or you have hot weather throughout the year, they will really enjoy having watermelons. We'll usually give them the entire watermelon chopped up and they will peck at it until they're down to the very thinnest part of the skin. It helps them to stay cool in very humid weather. Something else they really enjoy throughout the year are apples. We'll give our chickens an apple on a stick and they'll peck away at that apple until it is no more. There is a massive list, as I mentioned, of different fruits and vegetables that are perfectly fine to give your chickens. I'm simply gonna mention a handful of them, the ones that most people already have at home or have easy access to at their local supermarket. So things like berries, grapes, carrots, squash, cucumbers, tomatoes, celery, broccoli, cauliflower, pumpkins, peppers, melons, and bananas. If you are going to be giving them scraps from your kitchen, so for example, if you want to give your chickens the banana peels, grind them up before you give them the peels because if you simply leave the peels on the ground, they won't eat it. They might peck at it, but they won't really eat it. So to make it easy for them to eat it, grind up the peels before you toss it into their run or however you're giving it to them. You can also give them big leafy greens either as a whole head or chopped up. Things like spinach, cabbage, Swiss chard, and lettuce. Most chickens usually enjoy eating these things and some people will give it to them as an entire head. They'll toss it into the run. It's great because it actually helps keep your chickens busy for the whole day. For us personally, we would rather chop it up so we know that they were able to eat and digest it, especially for our younger chickens. And as I mentioned, there are probably way more things on this list. Simply mention here the ones that are the most commonly found. You might even have growing in your backyard garden. Now you might be thinking to yourself after going through this huge list of what you can give your chickens, there are probably things that are not okay to give to your chickens. Yes, there is a big list of things that are not okay to give to your chickens too. Our next video will be all about things not to give to your chickens to keep them healthy. So make sure you stay tuned for that next video. If you're someone that is still thinking, should I get chickens? Or maybe you've decided on getting chickens but you haven't brought them home yet, make sure you click on the link at the end of this video so that you can see our entire series all about how to get started with backyard chickens, what to consider, and what you'll need as well. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button below Drop a comment, leave a message, and what you learned from this message as well. If this is something that you're interested in learning a lot more about, specifically with chickens, make sure you click on the subscribe button below to see all of our future videos. I will also leave a link to my chicken starter guide. It's a free PDF that you can download. Several pages of points, things you need to know before you bring home your chickens, things to be aware of, as well as all the supplies that you'll need to get started. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our future videos.